This episode of Gadget was brought to you by Adobe Systems, Acer, the Jesuit Conference, and this guy. I'm Father Robert from Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here on a special release day. It should be November 9th. 2011. And I'm standing next to Peter Newton from Netgear. He's actually an engineer that we spoke with at Interop about their new 10 gig switches. Peter, good to see you again. Good to see you, Paul. Now, uh, the 10 gig switches at Interop, very, very impressive, but you've got something that's even more impressive. Tell me a little bit about what the press release was today. Well, what we announced today is that we have refreshed our very popular and award-winning Duo and NV Plus storage platforms. Uh, so we've taken those and we've increased the performance up to 60%. Uh, while also improving the ease of use and launching some new uh, nice applications. Uh, we've refreshed the user interface just to make it easier to use. Uh, recognizing that um, IT folks that are dealing with our 2U boxes want a different set of features and have a different comfort level, people using the Duo MV Plus are looking to get things done a little bit faster and easier. And so that's what we focused our effort on the new GUI. So uh, when you first log into the uh, the box, you'll first show up a dashboard. It's kind of a one-stop shop. You can get a general overview of what's going on. It's a nice place to see every, all your information gathered at one location. So you can see here, uh, you can see the healthier box, so you know how many drives you've got, you can see what shares are set up, uh, what apps you have running on your box, and even uh, your application. I have to say this does address one of the, I won't call it problems, but maybe a deficit of uh, the readiness systems that I've used in the past, which was there was never really a, a really comprehensive at a glance screen where mm -hmm. all the information was in one place. This could be everything from the health of the hardware to my current shares to, oh, what's photos, what's this one? So this is uh, our uh, Photos 2 application. It's a, a refresh of our older application, but we've really enhanced it. So now this has the capability for people to really host their own uh, photo sharing service, like their own personal cloud. They can upload their photos, create uh, a photo um, slideshow with music and everything, and then they can invite other people to come and look at that photo, uh, that album, on their, uh, on their own personal cloud. Uh, so the hardware itself, we've increased that throughput going to the latest CPU, so it's 60% uh, faster uh, than previous versions. Um, but we've also, as I mentioned, the, the, I think the real beauty of it is the uh, user interface we've put on it. This uh, is the dashboard, just gets to the first, uh, uh, we call it dashboard, but you know, at a glance. Right, right. Uh, if you then want to go in and take a look and start managing it, a lot of things are uh, laid out so it's very quick and easy to do. One of the things we did is we cleaned things up so it looks, presents nicer, and we've also provided more information and, and uh, made it easier to do things. It's easier to create a share, it's easier to add users. Uh, Again, not a criticism because I really enjoy the way that the, the, the Ready NAS OS has worked, but I've heard from some of my non-techie friends that they found it a little bit daunting mm -hmm. to, to, to create users and then they weren't sure if they were really doing the permissions correctly. This looks more like what you might see in, a, say, a Windows 7 box or a mm -hmm. Mac of OS 10 box. Yeah. So uh, we have spent a lot of time on this and we will be extending this across the entire storage portfolio over time. Okay, Peter. Thank you very much. We are going to check this out. We're going to give you the full teardown of their brand new operating system. So stay tuned. I'm Father Robert. This is Peter Newton. We're at Netgear. And there's no Uber Geek without you.